was doing this with my sister last night and we watched two movies and time just got away from us. It was our me time. Hi everybody, this is Caroline from So Kinchy and today I'm so excited because I was asked by Me Time Embroidery to help show you guys this new subscription service that they are coming out with called Perfectly Pieced. We are going to piece quilt blocks on our embroidery machine. And I'm going to actually go through one whole little quilt block and piece one on my embroidery machine with you in just a minute. I love this so much. I mean, look at this little block. Look how tiny it is, how itty bitty. This is, when it's finished, going to be a two inch block. And you see this outer line of stitching right here, this is the cutting line for trimming it. And so when it's trimmed up, it is going to look like this and just be two and a half inches. And then when I sew these together, they will be two inch blocks. Now, I have never sewn such itty bitty quilt blocks before as this. And you know, I sew a lot of quilts. My quilts do not look this perfect. I mean, look, perfect corners, perfect little everything. So cute. Now the quilt block pieces that come with the perfectly pieced subscription, they come in a whole bunch of different sizes, two inches, four inches, six inches, and eight inches. So if you want to make a whole quilt, I would obviously pick a bigger size like the six or eight inch size, but I'm just planning on making a little project out of this. And I wanted to do the two inch size because it's just so adorable. And because I would never attempt to make such a teeny little quilt block, just like with sewing my quarter inch seam allowances, as hard as I try, I would never make it look this perfect. Okay, check this out. Here on my Bernina B770, and I'm using the midi hoop, which is about six and a half by 10 and a half, but you know, you lose them because of the big curves here in the hoop. I was able to fit four of these little two inch blocks. So I'm going to, I just have been stitching out one at a time, one after another. So I already have a bunch of them already stitched out here. And it's really cool. If you want to, the last step is quilting on your little block. And it just turned out so tiny and so cute. But I decided for the rest of my blocks to skip the quilting because I think I would rather quilt them later with a bigger quilting design. I'm just going to have to see what I'm going to do. Isn't this pretty? I just love this color combo. This is the July Perfectly Pieced box. If you hurry and sign up for the subscription in time for July, I'll show you everything you get with the box. So in this perfectly pieced box, of course I got instructions here and then it didn't come with batting, but it did come with this adorable fabric bundle that I already started cutting into because I cut pieces for my little two inch block project. Comes with a cute little card with a tip. Yes, starch and iron your fabric before cutting your pieces. I use Best Press. And then some clear blue tiles, which these will help me to do quilting in the hoop. So that's why I skipped quilting the rest of my little two and a half inch blocks because I'm going to quilt them after I sew them together. But really, I'm not gonna need to quilt these because the See, there's the batting and see all these little lines. So it is really kind of quilt as you go. So I could just sew these together and turn them into a mini quilt or a pouch or a purse or something, a little bag. And it doesn't need to have any more quilting. Although that is like so cute and perfect, but, but I don't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera back on the stand and we're going to stitch out the next little block in my hoop. So there. All right, so I'm just going to advance my embroidery machine to the next step, which is my next little block. And I'll do the first step, which is a placement line for my batting. Oh, I forgot to mention that the perfectly pieced box came with a spool of glide thread. I love Glide Thread. It's from Filtech. I use it extensively on my long arm for quilting. 
And I also love it for embroidery because it just works. It just works and it doesn't have problems in any of my machines. So you see here, we stitched out this little placement line and then I've got a little scrap of, a little piece of batting. It's a three inch square of batting. And you know, you always have batting left over from your quilts. So this is a, a perfect way to use it. So I lay the batting down and then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch a little tack down line. my curved handle embroidery scissors, double curved embroidery scissors, and I absolutely love them. They are great for trimming in the hoop. So this step is just stitching out a little outline of what the block design, what the little pieces are gonna look like so that as I lay down my pieces, I can get them in the right place. But it's really super easy. Okay. So the first one is this pretty little pale green piece. And I'm just gonna put it right here, just like the instructions, but I've memorized the instructions already. And then it stitches one little line. Okay, and this line is both is a placement line and a tack down line. So I'm going to trim away and then I'll place piece two. So piece two goes right here, right along the tack down line, which is also placement line. Isn't that cute? It's just like, I think if there's anything I could compare doing piecing in your embroidery machine to, it is like paper piecing without the paper <laughs> and without having to, you know, calculate if your pieces are the right size or if you're putting it on right. With this, I always knew that I was putting everything on right. I cut out all my pieces ahead of time using the instructions that came. So I got, you know, my little stacks of fabric ready. So once I had my little stacks of fabric ready, all I could, I could just sit down and embroider. I was doing this I was doing this with my sister last night and we watched two movies and time just got away from us. It was our me time. So now I'm just going to finger press this one up. So the instructions say that you can use like a little iron if you like. You could take the hoop out, take it to your ironing board or just to a like wool pressing mat and use a tiny little iron to press these seams. But I'm not that picky. Maybe that's why I don't do itty bitty piecing. But I'm just not picky enough. So. I just finger press everything down. Trim it as closely as I can. I could take this hoop off my machine at any point if I wanted to make this trimming a little bit easier on myself, but this is just fine. And I don't wanna have to mess with the camera. So, so I'm gonna leave it all in the hoop and it's gonna turn out perfect anyway. adorable one thing you can do if you have one of those little seam rollers or this is my sewing stiletto that you know I love to use I can use the 
the end of it to crease and kind of press fabric. And look, that's like pressed as if I used an iron. So this pretty mint colored thread is the thread that came the glide thread that came in the kit and I was so happy to add another spool of glide thread to my collection because I already have a ton I just love glide thread okay so now it's my favorite print my favorite print in this box it looks like I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six different fabrics came in the box. And my favorite is this beautiful little Liberty print from Riley Blake. Liberty has given Riley Blake permission to print some of their designs. I don't know if you knew that, but this is one of them. And I've been wanting to sew with those fabrics for a long time now. So I was so excited to see this little pretty blue floral fabric included. So I'm just going to center this on the line. And as you can probably tell, the dimensions for cutting your pieces in the instructions are nice and generous. So if I accidentally didn't cut something perfectly, so if I accidentally didn't place something perfectly in the hoop, it would be okay. Now, I just noticed here that my machine did not stitch it started, sometimes you might, your, your embroidery machine might do this too. Sometimes it doesn't begin stitching at the beginning, the bobbin thread doesn't catch or something and it, it didn't catch till like half an inch later here. So I am just going to backtrack to the previous step and I am going to restitch this step. So now my thread did start catch, catching at the very beginning and it stitched perfectly all the way across. So that has happened a couple of times and I don't stress about it. I just go ahead and, um, and it looks like something happened here. It looks like my bobbin thread is caught. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my threads. That will cut my bobbin thread. And I can just see what's going on here. Bobbin thread didn't even cut. I'll try and show you. Not sure what happened here. Bobbin thread got caught, but we're okay. Bobbin thread still seems to be pulling out, so we're good. I'm just going to put my hoop back on and continue. So, now I will finger press this one down. Isn't that so pretty? I love this little blueprint. So pretty. Honestly, I have to tell them, I have to tell Me Time Embroidery that whoever picked out these fabrics for this July kit, they did a super job. They are just so pretty together. not sure what I'm gonna make with all my little two inch quilt blocks like the project so me time embroidery with each of the monthly kits for perfectly pieced they are including a project a different project for each size quilt block so for the two four six eight inch quilt blocks they're including all these different projects you can make and most of them are little quilts or pillows this month even a bench pillow, which uses different size blocks, I think. Um, but the project for the two inch blocks is a little mini quilt, which I might make. I don't know, tell me in the comments what you think I should make with all my two inch blocks. I will probably end up making a lot because I, when I was cutting out my fabrics, I cut out enough fabrics to make 12 little blocks. And I'm having so much fun that pretty soon I will be done making all 12 and then I'll probably make some more. 
So I'm not sure what I should make with these little blocks. Now this is the second to last stitch. This is just the outline stitch that outlines the little block. And then it is almost done. Um, I'm stopping here because then I can take it out and trim it and it will look just like this. Now, the last step here is the quilting step, which would make my block look like this, which is totally cute. I just, I'm not sure since I don't know what project I'm gonna make with them yet, I don't want to quilt them all like this. So then since I, you saw I have four in my hoop, the next step, all I need to do is advance to the next step. And now I'm at the next place where I can do another one in my hoop, just like that. So honestly, without chit-chatting with you like I have been on this video, I think it only takes seriously like less than 10 minutes to do one of these two inch blocks. So there you go. We did a perfectly pieced little quilt block from Me Time Embroidery together. And I hope you saw how fast and easy and fun this is, especially um, to make perfectly pieced little blocks. Uh, the name for it is just perfect. When I am done with this little hoop in here, I'm going to write a blog post and put it on my blog at socanshe.com. And I will include links for where you can sign up for Perfectly Pieced. And if you sign up quick, you can get the July box that has the same colors and the same design. Each month, they are going to have a different quilt block design and different fabrics. And just so you know, you can sign up for the box version that is delivered to your home like I did, or you can sign up for the digital only version, which costs less and you will get just the digital files and the printable instructions and a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of printable project ideas and printable resource guides and printable, just a whole bunch. The digital subscription includes a lot too, but if you want to get the fabrics, the same fabrics that are shown in the instructions and extra little goodies, like this month it was the glide thread, Oh, I forgot to show you. This month, they also gave us 15 little wonder clips. And they're this cute peach color, which I had never seen before. And of course, the clear blue tiles. So if you do order the physical box subscription that comes to your house every month, you will get a whole lot of extra goodies too. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I am subscribed to the Perfectly Pieced home delivery subscription. So I will be doing one perfectly pieced little block with you for the next few months. So I hope you follow along and maybe we can even do them together. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of that. And I will see you next time. Happy embroidering.